that sentence got away from me a little more than I expected it Here's to. The but thing. you're just gonna keep powering on with it, aren't you? No, 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 no. I actually, it's, it's, it's the run-on nope. sentence of history. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. Guess what? I finally managed to RTX on Linux. Stay tuned for the results and the Steam Lunar New Year. That is, man, you got to get a better name, Valve. Steam Lunar New Year sale. It's almost upon us. Stick around. I'll give you them digits. Get ready to stick a fork in Proton Tracks because it's been forked. And why wants to do their own DX11? And DXVK keeps chugging along like the honey badger it is. Slate Aspire defeats early access just in time for that sale. And more details about the 1600 or whatever they're going to be called series cards leak. And NVIDIA, in their usual self, are being very quiet about it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for the 336th time, really, 7th, I'm Ben Stone. That's Jordan Sving. And that sexy... Sexy young person didn't make it to the show, but Pedro made it anyway. You know him, you love him. You're and together stuck with, with you, me. down there, <laughs> Shot Realm Dynamic joining us live, doing this nightmare train each and every week, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. What is I, up? I, Beautiful I gotta, people. I, I mean, I, 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 I got to Hang that. on, in, interrupting Jordan says what? <laughs> Who? <laughs> no, I, I, I was just gonna, I was just gonna say like. um D d despite the fact that we're actively not sexualizing Pedro, if you did not watch the pre-pre super shows, there was a lot of sexualizing Pedro going on. It was brilliant. <laughs> Go tune into that. There was also a crotch shot at some point. So, hey, yeah. when we're not busy sexualizing Pedro, we like to talk about what's going on in each other's life organs. Jordan, oh, ring, 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 ring. Yeah, no, talking about phone calls. I've been doing interviews nonstop. Um, Trap. Lot, 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 lots of places either I'm too expensive or they're not what they want. I don't, I don't know. I gotta, I gotta keep at it. Also, I started playing uh, The Witcher. I'm gonna try and stream most of my playthrough through that game. I went through the tutorial uh, before streaming it just because I wanted to. Get... I did the stupid thing too. Of I went through the tutorial using keyboard and mouse, and I'm like, I'm gonna play this with a controller. So <laughs> there, 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 there are a couple things. Just like I just don't know how to do it because I didn't get the right tutorial message. You know. Uh, um, I, uh, the game we're gonna be covering in the chair position. I saw that you put in there. It's like, oh yes. Uh, controller works. I was like, all right, let's try that. And I try I was like, nope. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I put that in that, like, I pressed buttons on the controller and right. it did things in the game. That's that's about the I, I tried to play and I immediately, like, swung myself into the abyss. I was like, yeah, no, I'm going to do that even when I know what I'm doing. Anyway, uh, yeah, you know, I mean, like, how's, how's that different from keyboard and mouse? <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, B-Baby? Well, I uh, went to London on Friday That's to great. Um, learn about things cybersecurity related, and uh, the uh, lady that was doing the presentation is like, yeah, no, uh, the easiest way I have to get into buildings is just I stand by the door, and eventually someone will open it, and I'll just get in. I don't look like a criminal. And I'm like, yeah, I'm do. looking at her. Yeah, you look like Red Team. You have Red Team written all over your face. It's like, mm. <laughs> no. <laughs> Kidnapping. Kidnapping works a lot better. I, 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 I like good old fashioned brick. Brick gets shit done. Brick works. Brick does, in fact, get shit done. Uh, what have I been up to? Uh, oh, we'll be talking about it later on in the show. I Was it Friday? Thursday morning, Friday morning, whatever. My brain just decided, just like, hey, man, you know that RTX Vulcan Quake 2 thing that we couldn't get to work? Yeah, you know what? We need to get that working like right meow. I'm like, dude, I, I, I haven't even went to bed, like taking like a half nap. It's like, no, this needs to be solved now. <laughs> do you ever have that happen to you it's like shut up brain leave me alone we're going to bed it's like no we're not i usually do it it's like my brain goes oh maybe that will fix it but we can do that tomorrow and i'm like no we're doing it right now no, no, otherwise it, i'll forget it, it completed the problem solving it's like we got this we got this just get up get up make some tea it's like it is genuinely like three so if you saw my post on twitter at three o'clock in the morning <laughs> hi yeah right I, yeah that, 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 that's usually me too it's like okay i'm gonna do this one thing and that's now it didn't work then like four flash forward to like four o'clock in the morning I'm like shit i gotta get to sleep god damn it <laughs> uh, that happened anyway oh, yeah. um 
What do we got? Uh, we got we got to get see what the horse is. Does the horse have RTX on by any chance? No, but it has a new fancy API call that'll give us some better information. Oh my god, it's such a tiny steam! have ultimate doom doom 2 quake bejeweled stalker what have yous uh in at the top you didn't read the entire list pedro yeah and then at the bottom you have your castlevanias and everything else that's come out on the uh on the last batch so yeah it's a very neat list and it also has uh like the configs you can see there's like one game that has the no e-sync on it which is a uh, google earth vr so it's not even a game <laughs> <laughs> who are you yeah, determined it's... that google earth is not a game man <laughs> Unless you want to, I don't know, do like if, if, the uh, boobs if, of if, Google if, Earth thing. <laughs> if, if 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 you if you don't want if you don't want to like actually spring for a globe and play where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Maybe I don't know. I don't. It, yeah. it, it's nice that this thing exists though because it, I I I was kind of curious if like there's some sort of uh, API call you can submit to the Steam API to basically give you this information and there's an app ID that tracks it now, so it should be nice for like. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm 100% sure Ven's not going to do it, but um, we have our little whitelist page. Maybe scrape this one. <laughs> Just auto and now, update. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, now, and now I know what he's going to be doing at 2 o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday. <laughs> it's like, oh, this will do. Oh, shit. I have to do it now, don't I? <laughs> you know, I kind of dig it, though. I mean, it does have the added benefit of having knowing what Proton version at least it's aiming for because, you know, you. Mm-hmm you now have the ability per game to set mm-hmm. that and mm-hmm. set and forget. You're like, shit, what version was this thing actually working with before I started <laughs> digging with it? Usually the safe bet is just go to 316 stable because mm-hmm. everything that worked on 37 is going to work on 316. So yeah. <laughs> See, like no, no, I, I just, this just popped into my brain, but you remember those like Stone Cold Steve Austin 316 signs? We need, nope. we need some Proton 316 signs to just <laughs> carry, carry around and like flash. When Look at our happens. store next week, baby. We'll have it. Yeah. <laughs> Proton 316. Proton tricks. Uh. All right. Speaking of which, yeah, we co- we covered uh, last week that um, the original uh, the original author of Proton Tricks, Sermentio, decided that he doesn't want to use Linux anymore, and so uh, Macho King has gone and forked it, as we had predicted last week. It's a beauty of the open source. You can die. You can literally die, and your project will <laughs> outlive you. Um, so it's it's good to see that now it has a whole little new home under GitHub. The link to that's in our show notes if you want to start contributing to this. Um, but yeah, that's, that's really the long and short of it. Well, I mean, the dude is actually, he's already fixing bugs, which is good. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it's good to see life. And even this fork, I mean, it already has nine contributors right now. So mm-hmm. yeah, it's good. And it's uh, really good to see. It's yeah. Proton tricks again, it's uh use uh case is very limited and it was just a wrapper for wine tricks itself. So, yeah, there's not a whole lot going on there, but it is actually very nice to see people like, okay, this makes, if you want to try and get Wild West mode and contribute to the ProtonDB and get as many games running as possible on your Linux box, this helps a lot. It saves you from having to type the uh, prefix um, environment variable all the goddamn time. So, it's so good. What, it's you, good. what you're saying, Pedro, if I want to reintroduce the jankiness and <laughs> screwy stuff that Steam if is trying to avoid. If it's not on the white list, if it's not on the white list and you're using Wild West mode, I say it's fair game. <laughs> so, yes, what I just said. Yes. I, I mean, the, the, the other thing, too, is like, uh, the, for sure, Valve is like keep an eye on ProtonDB so that they can oh, yeah. Like people's <laughs> tweaks into the main product, so like it, 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 it's good. It cuts down on the time that it takes to fully whitelist stuff. It's mm. nice. Yep, that's pretty cool. Time, it's time to make some money though. Yay! Oh, sale. Yes. Dun, 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 dun. Lunar sale. <laughs> uh, this is from Steamworks Development. They're like, hey man, this is a reminder of another Steam sale event that's coming up. The Lunar Sale, which is going to take place. Did we get a date in here? Maybe no, uh, d- no date. Wah, wah. <laughs> when is the uh, like lunar holiday thing? Uh, it's uh, early February. All right. Lunar is the fifth of February, so yeah. it, 
<laughs> so um two weeks two weeks that's two weeks uh and i i, I mean like I don't, I don't, I don't know. This, this this announcement is coming very, very close to like, oh yeah, no, Val, Valve is going to be releasing an announcement um, regarding their Chinese store. You know who actually gives a shit about the Lunar New Year? China. There's a there's yeah. a big tradition of gift giving in around there. So I'm curious if this is Valve trying to be like, yo, you know what? Let's let, let, let's let's try and uh, rake in the new year with some mad ducats. Possibly. I mean, they could. Yeah. It's going to be a tough sell though, because they're like, use the official Steam client for China, not the VPN that everyone uses. Or mm -hmm. they don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's one of the things that the post brought up that I actually didn't know. It's like, please remember that it's not possible to submit a discount within 30 days of the following. This applies to all the games that want to go on sale. So if you're within those 30 days of releasing a game for the first time at full price or the end of the new uh, release discount or the price increase, if you decide to increase the price of the game, you can't put your game up on sale. It's like, oh, there's a time limit on that. That's nice. <laughs> That's actually good to know. Um, I always keep a look because, you know, my, like, unicorn game is, you know, the Norris Appalachian Tarantino Tomato whatever <laughs> that never goes on sale, and I'm not giving you fucking $60 for that game, even though it is from Platinum. But, right. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I, I get the sense that you wouldn't really like this game because you got to play it like multiple times to get like the full thing. That'd be done with it. All right. I don't know. Um, you don't know me. I, I don't, you don't know my life. Uh -uh. You know what? All right. <laughs> we, we Happy Few. Uh, it's a game that has promised Linux support for a very, very long time. And now apparently it's coming, so says this blog post on their community page. Um, this is pri this article is primarily about the uh, the Xbox One version, but there is a little throwaway line that says these fixes will be coming for other platforms soon as they are ready, along with their own platform specific fixes, including Linux. So yeah, we get some Linux bug fixes. And uh, like I said, I take it to mean that their um, long promised Linux version will be coming at some point. Um, I, I I went and looked through their uh, discussion forums, and there's a couple people asking when it's happening, and the devs just replied, "It's it's happening, be believe us." So, well, isn't this thing built on Unity? Uh, it's uh, Unreal Engine Four, actually. Oh, hard mode. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, hey, good on them, 100. percent Um, sort of want with a question mark, but I say that only after. I mean, this is going to get, we're going to get a Linux version. I have faith in them delivering on that, but I think the real question is after the reviews of this and how it was released in an unbroken mess, mm -hmm. what, what, do you think it's really going to make us? I like the idea. I like the concept of the game. You got to take happy pills or pretend to take happy pills, but it was a busted piece of nope when it got released. Mm -hmm. Maybe if they fix that. Hmm? Yeah. And, and like, th that's what they're saying is there are a lot of fixes coming in this patch as well. So maybe, maybe, maybe the Linux release Whoa. will be a little smoother. <laughs> oh uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When, when you Six, have a triple a publisher, it's a triple A title. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, six, I, I six, say 60 this bucks. As a professional game critic, get fucked. That's not happening. <laughs> Pretty um, much. Yeah. I, it's like, I maybe mean, they'll it, send us keys. Maybe. It, it, well, <laughs> so they, they, have, they have the season pass for like 25 bucks. But like, I, I just looked at some of their other games like $10, $8, 6 bucks. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, the digital deluxe edition for We Happy Few is $110 Canadian. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, Whoa. this was uh, this game originally went on Kickstarter, and it was supposed to be one thing. And then Gearbox decided, no, I want to publish. Uh, we want to publish that game, and the game went from like an interesting teeny tiny uh, indie title into this massive convoluted bloated thing that's sixty dollars, and it's a broken buggy piece of shit so but they're trying to yeah. fix it and they're going to put it on console so it's got to be 60 dollars because that's what games yep. cost now mm -hmm. yeah Quit trying unless you're, to in, Can start unless you're in canada then they cost like 80 dollars yeah yeah pretty much you <laughs> see you want to make uh you want to make money from video games make a good video game like slay the spire slay the spire is a very good video game and it's uh out of early access now. Hey man, it's listen, a... I'm looking at this and this has got like way more, like 23,000 over. Well, I bet this thing is, is going to be like $300, Major. Uh, no, oh. it's uh, $25. Oh. Okay. <laughs> $25 or uh, around 20 pounds if you're around here in the UKs. And it's um, 
it's a roguelike with a deck building mechanic. You oh look, it's a code game. I don't care. Keep going. Yes, <laughs> uh, you get to build your deck, and you can go like the biggest deck possible, so you always have something to do. Or you can go the complete opposite way and have like three cards, and you always play those three cards every turn. And so, if so, you can so what you're, like what you're that, saying is, it's not the size of your deck; it's how you use it. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> and that's the thing about uh, the really good um, deck building games. They usually, <laughs> yeah, they usually give you that option of like going either like biggest deck possible so you always have something to do or the smallest one so you are always doing what you want to do. And it's, yeah, it actually manages to be a really fun and interesting game if you like card building or roguelikes. That is. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 honestly, it looks pretty interesting. The uh, the deck mechanic kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Fate of the Norns Ragnarok, which is something no one ever fucking plays. But um, yeah, um, I mean, they're, they're promising more content soon. And I'm curious if it's going to be like a Team Cherry style free update where they're like, yeah, here's another like two fucking games on top of what we provided. Or is it going to be more paid DLC, more beheading that of a card game? Like, oh, buy some booster packs. Or we have a new expansion set out. Yeah. It's probably going to be the expansion route, yeah. As somebody who actively avoids card games, period, stud principle, not my thing. I know it's not my thing. <laughs> However, I do have the curiosity. Why is this getting, like, it seems like an inordinate amount of love while Artifact just ate all the dicks? Well, because it's it's well, not like it's not a competitive card game, right? This is this is just a dungeon crawler where the dungeon yeah. crawling mechanics is replaced with a with a card type system, sort of like a, sort of like a hand of fate, right? Which has yes. cards in it, but is not a card game so versus artifact, like, which is um, darkest dungeon with a bunch of extra fucking steps. Yeah, All right. with less steps actually. It's uh, in that way, it's much more simplified than uh, darkest dungeon. It's just yeah, it's. This one is single player, and it's, yeah, it's just a small game that you can spend, like, 20 minutes on and maybe get all the way through a run or just die and quit the game and start it back up later. It, and I, and, yeah. I, and I, th I think that's sort of, like, the, that's, like, the real strength of these roguelike games is that yeah. you can, you can, like, sit down and play it for 20 minutes, and maybe you'll do well, and maybe you won't, but you've only sung 20 minutes, and then you can go do whatever the hell else you want. Make a sandwich. Yep. Catch the bus. <laughs> take a nap. I don't know. Play some golf. Some rocket golf. Not, <laughs> man, I was expecting this to be like Rocket League. No, um, if if uh, if you've ever seen another game that's only on Windows called Nice Shot, this is basically that, except it's uglier. I don't know. Um, man. This, mm -hmm. this particular screenshot, I know it's not what it is, but out of the corner of my eye, when I first saw it, it looked like someone was holding like a Beretta towards a golf ball. And I was like, Jordan, I love this. You get to shoot golf balls. And no. Uh, no, well, I, I mean, you you do get to shoot golf, golf balls, but the goal is to, you know, play golf like this. Um, yeah, you shoot at the golf ball. You don't shoot the golf ball. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, it, it's it's a, it's an early access. They are charging uh, $11 Canadian, so what, like $9.99 US? <laughs> Something like that. So hope, hopefully they'll make it look better, because it kind of looks like shit now. <laughs> yes, um, yes, it does. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and like when 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 I can make positive comparisons to golf with your friends, maybe you have some problems. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, you 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 shoot rockets at golf giant golf balls, and you try to get them into holes. Wow, That's man! The, the, yes. the game <laughs> it it takes balls to throw up a two hundred and fifty six color tethered gif <laughs> in JPEG Gol format. G giant golf balls, yeah, dude. Um. <laughs> Is there anything fun in the system requirements? Keyboard and mouse? Uh... Apparently ATI is back. <laughs> yeah, and, and dedicated RAM. None of the non-dedicated GPU video memory. You, you'd be, you gotta watch out. So yeah, so yeah, so don't don't use an IGP on there. Yeah. No. Yeah. All right, let's, let's play it on your space. Intel laptop. Hey man, all space. Uh, it's like all space, but with more space and shit thrown thought, into it. I, th I thought it was gonna be like MySpace. No man, one hundred pilot battle with lasers, woo, plasma, even a uh, missiles sold. How much will this adventure? Oh, it's free. Neat. Online multiplayer. Yeah. Even more neat. Price to sell at free. 
I tried it out. I mean, you don't need much to play. You can download it, play it yourself. Maybe not tonight, but we'll definitely get in and play it. It's not fugly either. This is like, lo and behold, it looks better than the golf game. It's nine ninety nine. Uh, online only play currently right now. So you can log in. You don't have to create an account. You just jump in. It kind of just drops you in. It doesn't tell you anything about what's going on, but nobody's playing. So you can kind of suss everything out, fly around and uh, shoot and it's like being in space, like real space, because there's no one around and yeah, and uh, infinite. And 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 like yeah, it's 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 kind of interesting where you get like the because ideally it's supposed to be like hundred player descent style deathmatch. So you could do some like really cool dogfighting stuff with this with like teams of fifty. And yeah. again, it's cheap. It's cheap as free, so I'm definitely tempted to give it a look. Yeah, like, like, yeah it's, it's it's definitely after show bait. 100%. I mean, it completely controls like. You would expect it to, you know, was then you uh, Q and E rotate, yep. and yep. your missiles on the right, pew pews on the left. Cool, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ma massively multiplayer descent. I've I've no problem with this in principle. Yeah, it no, it's a space battle royale. It could very well work. Yeah, <laughs> space battle royale. Yeah, we just need the Dyson sphere to like shrink. <laughs> oh yeah, Di in a Dyson swarm, that would be cool. Yeah, it's a swarm I mean, of Dysons, but it's vacuums. Yeah, or like the crappy fans with like the propellers in the base. So it's like, oh, it's so cool. How does it work? <laughs> All right. And, and anyways, coming up next, <laughs> we, we, we got some NVIDIA shilling to do and we got some wine shilling to do. And drugs. so much shilling. Stick around. Nope. There's a bit of a news segment coming Lies. up. But before we get to it, there is a Shet Realm Appreciation Minute, what we'd like to take at this point in time that sentence got away from me a little more than i expected it Here's to the but thing. you're just gonna keep powering on with it aren't you no no no, no. I actually, it's, it's the run-on no. sentence of history here's the thing man here's the thing i was gonna let you get away with that shit i wasn't even gonna say anything i thought about it and i'm like no I, i'm gonna look let it. if no one else points it out i have to it's it, it, that's just to how I work, but hey, Quit this isn't about yourself. us right now. This is about you helping us. Well, put our faces in front of you. Well, are we you gonna helping you us? Like, uh, lessons? <laughs> yeah, you, you you helping us abuse and sexualize Pedro. This is this is the entire purpose of our Patreon. So if if, if you if you want to enable if you want to further enable the suffering of one Pedro Q Mateus, you can head on over to linksgamecast.com. Click the support button. All sorts of interesting links for you to click. Amazon affiliate links, Newegg affiliate links, a humble partner link if you want to donate some stuff to charity. We got uh, Bitcoin if you want to give us some rapidly Big fluctuating coins. untraceable currency um <laughs> and of course we got paypal donate buttons if you're og like that uh you can also head on over to uh patreon.com slash linux gamecast 112 vu are giving us 263 dollars a month to once again abuse and belittle pedro non-stop <laughs> no we do um, no useful things look away no, um. yeah um yeah be, be, being a patreon has some perks you get access to our discord channel you get access to the show notes you can see the show coalesce over the week and see how <laughs> do i get to get professional Pedro grammar lessons? Are. <laughs> yeah yeah oh yeah S spell and grammar check pedro in the show notes he desperately fucking needs it i've edited enough of his articles to know that um <laughs> And uh, yeah, of, co of course, you get access to uh, uncut uh, VODs a couple days early. You can RSVP to game streams when we're uh, doing stuff on Thursdays and Fridays. Or, you know, if you want to drop some hella cash, you can just buy your way into the fucking show. Oh, man. Uh, but uh, the, danger but there, there's yet another way, yet another way oh. that you can give us stuff with zero expectation for getting anything in return. Oh, Lord. And that's our that's our Amazon wish list. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, I, oh, look, it's a 2700X. <laughs> I put some things on there. Well, you, we were talking about this in the pre pre super shows. It's like, have you seen how much these things are? This, this is just a placeholder, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm, <laughs> we're waiting for the Ryzen 3s to come up. We got to come for the on. June thing. <laughs> get, get some of that extra love, but that will end up on... Uh, Ranks fuck wall. That's right. Fine upstanding cannibals. It's kind of brilliant. Right next to the man, Linus Torvalds, and the real man. Mr. K. You, you, you mean the god. Oh. Ben, <laughs> the god. You lot make this possible. <laughs> this crazy little freeware experiment that we decided to start doing five years ago. And we're like, yo, hey, we're just going to put it out. And if you like it, kick us, you know, like four quarters a week or even a thousand dollars a day. That'd be brilliant. But you keep <laughs> us live, live, independent. And we get to keep doing this at a much higher level. Hey. We're doing it at 1080p60, so we look even more um, terrifying. And we don't have to do things like, hey, 
Uh, check this out. Uh, this episode brought to you by Cas- Casper Mattress. It really helped me build my website. We were rubbish <laughs> at reading. Really ads. helped me sleep. No, uh, thank you, Dollar Shave Club. Uh, I love sleeping on my dollar razors. Uh, that, that, that you can buy for seventy five cents from Dorco. Just saying. Um. <laughs> Everyone's awesome. Hey, come come to Discord. Come hang out with us the other six days of the week. We are actually in there, unlike some people. So mm-hmm. it's brilliant. Some, hey, sometimes let, let's pour some love. Oh, I didn't even. Man, I took all the time to set up the shilling penguin, and I didn't even use them. Boo. <laughs> all right. Well, from 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 pickgamer.com, links to all this in our show notes. AMD vows they swear upon their honor and life that Radeon 7 drivers will be available for day one consumption. Um, I mean, good, 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 good for you. You know, supporting a product <laughs> that you're selling to people for, for money. I'm I'm proud of you, AMD. You figured it out. Finally, um, the the other the other question remains um, whether or not distributions are going to be shipping uh, shipping these uh, drivers asap. Um, yeah, and also, you, al- you funny. Yeah. Al- <laughs> also, also a reminder: distributions, please, 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 periodically update your install images with up to date drivers so that you know I don't have to do all my fucking installs in text mode anymore. It was cool the first time I did it when I was like seventeen, but now I just want to install Linux on a computer. Um, I mean, but, yeah. to be fair, uh, most distros have nightly ISOs available now. You kind of have to go out of your way to find them, but they're available. If you're if you're doing that in Fedora land, you're getting rawhide, so you gotta you're you're you're, you're, you're going into Wild West mode, man. I think we no, gotta look at it like Ubuntu this. Does it. It's very important that AMD is at least acknowledging the existence of Linux now. This is progress. Mm-hmm. In, in, and uh, to be fair, uh, the reason that AMD will have drivers ready uh, day one is because the community is fucking doing it. Now, it's just Mesa, see, isn't this it? This is where you're wrong. <laughs> day one drivers for CentOS 5.6. <laughs> oh, and you need the GIMP help files. Yes. We're back to well, FGLRX. <laughs> how else are you supposed to learn how to use GIMP, Pedro? <laughs> just do it by yourself? That's not how GIMP works. <laughs> That's not how gimps work. Hey, speaking of gimped <laughs> things. Ah, yes. So, uh, spool up the rumor mill, because uh, we're about to head down uh, conjecture territory. Uh, it's the NVIDIA GTX 1660 Ti. It, apparently, there was a leaked benchmark, and it shows it being about 20% faster than a regular 1060. So, it puts it square in the middle of 1070 territory. Uh, so, yeah, uh, this one comes from WCCF Tech, and they have the uh, the links there, and the uh benchmark that they used was uh, Ashes of the Singularity. So apparently that's the screenshot that leaked. And from that, they basically went in and got like all of the stats. So right now they're speculating that the 1660 Ti will be a 1536 CUDA core uh, video card with six gigs of RAM, 192 bit um, memory bus. So basically uh, very, very similar to what the 1070 uh can do but on top of that there's also the news from hard ocp who got some confirmation from some sources that say that on top of the uh, it's going to be 279 dollars let's not do two paragraphs on a price um, yes, <laughs> uh, the, the sixteen sixty Ti is two hundred seventy nine, two hundred twenty nine for the sixteen sixty, and uh, the sixteen fifty is one hundred and eighty, supposedly. Two seventy nine because we were we were kind of speculating about this in the pre pre super shows, and was this because when you look at this just out of the gate, you're like, what Nvidia? Yeah. <laughs> have you lost your damn mind? Now, to everyone out there who have been waiting, you're like, oh, I want to. You know, a 20 series card sans RTX. We're well, going to get it, but it's going to be a 60 series card that performs like a 60 series card. So mm-hmm. please keep that in mind. Um, but back to the point. This actually would make sense if AMD at CES had been like, yo, here's our uh, Navi lineup starting at 199 on the high end that competes mm-hmm. with the 1070. That didn't happen. So I kind of think NVIDIA had the answer to that and already had it out in the supply chain. (laughs) And when you take that out of the equation, you're like, what the hell are you up to, NVIDIA? 
Uh-huh. Yeah. No, it's this is the answer for the question that was never asked because AMD never really put out anything that anyone wants to buy. Come on. The thing, the, <laughs> the thing that cheeses me about this is like, guys, Nvidia, come on. We we've had like this really good naming convention that sucked for the past ten and change years. Now 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 it's not the it's not the it's not the twenty fifty. It's not the it's not the ten whatever. It's sixteen. It's midway. It's midway. The, 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 this this is why this is this is the fucking barrier of entry for people trying to get into PC gaming. There's when when fucking model numbers go out of whack, people don't know what to fucking buy, and you expect people to do research mm-hmm. like your your average layperson. This is just gonna get confusing. That yeah. said, though, two hundred mm-hmm. seventy nine bucks. You know, if if you if you don't want to pay that tree fifty for that uh, for RTX on, I mean. <laughs> It, it, it's a good t- it's a good time if you're a budget conscious gamer building a new system dude you'd have to be next level moron to pick up in 2060 like right, yeah just a complete stupid asshole pretty dumb and i i do want to say i've read a lot of fanfic <laughs> online about <laughs> people saying yeah they, they're going to release a non-rtx card and it's going to be just as fast as the 2060 no it's not it's not going to happen Mm-mm-mm. nvidia it's not how, mar- it's not how marketing mm-hmm. works uh-uh. <laughs> anyway, speaking of morons uh, that we both know, everyone knows him. You probably don't love him, but he's going to be here anyway. He bought a 2060 Founders Edition because, man, he just wants to suck off NVIDIA. What a tool. Vince talking about himself in the third person. That's kind of brilliant. Because <laughs> uh, I knew you guys would drag me out and stab me in the pinky toe if I didn't play some video games with this. So we kind of ran it through. Uh, just get an idea with Superposition, the Tomb Raiders, and all that fun stuff. So if you want to play the latest games at, you know, let's say UHD, 4K, whatever, at 120 hertz, because uh, if, if you want to do that, you better buy something else, man. This mm-hmm. is not going to do it. Mm-hmm. However, if you're still living that 1080p lifestyle and you need an upgrade from the, uh, you know, a James Clerk uh, series or uh, some Maxwell, uh, check it out, man. I mean, it's not a bad deal for $390. That's what you really end up paying because I charge you sales tax and shipping. NVIDIA is still bitter about that. And if you stream, I'm going to just say buy the damn thing. If you're serious about getting the data bits out, making it look decent, because like even if you have like a 1080 Ti like JBaby over there, this would be worth it for the video encoder alone. The NV encode system is brilliant. Um, mm-hmm. It's basically giving you little as makes no difference, like X264 medium quality with almost no overhead. And that's really genuinely going to be a true, true statement at the end of this month. Um, my favorite thing, the one thing I was worried about, and the reason I picked up the Founders Edition, is because it's got a virtual link. It's what it's USB C port on the back, and it works as a regular USB C port. My video is coming through that right now. So yeah, uh, if you meet those very weird criteria, this is a card <laughs> for you. If you need a Type C uh, enabled GPU and a uh, and you stream uh, uh, and a, yeah, a stream encoder, yeah, that's the card for you. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you know, I only had the 980 to bench it. I mean, I had a, obviously a ton of other cards, but we. we we're not really into the benchmark. The, what, 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 the, 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 the 450 Ti is not going to trade close nope. with the 2070. The 770 and the 560 Ti is, yeah. Yeah, right? Um. 1080p, decent performance, man. I mean, the only thing it you know that made it cripple-tastic was the one game that you can basically, I'd really like to see what it gets on your 1080, and that is Deus Ex, not going to work worth a shit divided period yes no no, oh no yeah the performance there is just crap because that port was not very good feral uh but yeah just run it run run it through proton see how it performs (laughs) you can i tried it all to feral's defense the windows version was crap (laughs) okay all right yeah yeah, there's only so much that feral can do but then i heard you've been playing this awesome new game that's come out called quake we're done talking about rtx man no, I'm not talking about, talk about RTX. I'm talking, RTX. <laughs> I'm talking about Quake. Quake, Quake Two, the new hotness. Go fuck yourself. We're not talking about. It. <laughs> All right, cool. Up next, an overclock your Nvidia card, <laughs> <laughs> so you can play Quake Two at 60 FPS. <laughs> uh, I had to try this. This got me up. I couldn't go to bed, and everyone was talking about it. But I was really curious. Hey, it was like, okay, we we have this RTX thing, which is just retrain. It's extra silicon on the card. You know, fuck it. You want to use it once, and that's basically what I did. And I wanted to see what this looked like. Uh, Screw I'm, your happiness. <laughs> it's brilliant, man. If you want 
to play Quake 2 at 1920 by 1080 and utilize all six Giga Rays in your 2060, uh, you, you can really get some 40 to 45 frames per second hot action at 1080p. Let me tell you, it is absolutely not worth your fucking time to do it, but it's a thing. And if you hate yourself, I even made a little guide that'll get you up and running with Q2 VKPT, which is an interesting tech demo. It's nice to see. And if anybody needs anything built for Vulcan, I pretty much have that environment on lockdown right now. So. <laughs> also, canonical, seriously, 1804, the stable thing that I personally tell all developers, like, what should I build against? That SDL2 that you ship is not built with Vulcan support. Eat a bag of dicks on that one. Fix that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, there, there, there you go. If you want to pay, if you want to play Quake Two by twenty sixty. All right. And then, if, then if you want to play, if you want to play it at sixty FPS, you can use this. Yeah, because you could always, or you will need that extra help in order to get your RTX card just you know fast enough to hit those 60 FPS in a game from 1999 or 1998 uh, this is Tux Clocker it's a GUI uh, overclocking utility for um, Linux. well right now it's for NVIDIA GPUs uh, they say that uh, support for AMD uh, GPUs is planned but it's not there yet so currently it supports GPU monitoring, uh, overclocking, overvolting. That's that's interesting. Um, changing the power limit, fan mode selection, custom fan curve, very important, and profiles. Uh, the requirements are, of course, the NVIDIA SMI, the NVIDIA settings. If you're using the blob from the NVIDIA, uh, from the NVIDIA website, you're already getting those. If you're installing it from your distros repos, make sure it includes both SMI and the settings, because I know Ubuntu keeps the settings separately. So that may be you know uh something to look into you need the qt development libraries because it's built on qt and uh, you need to set cool bits uh they say uh, 31 gives you all the functionality it depends on uh which nvidia f uh, family series card you're using but 31 is usually the one that gives you everything for most of them so that's a safe value if you just want to have everything so yeah my thing is oh you still need to set the uh, cool bits. Uh, uh. Oh no, you have to do the thing in the drivers to enable it, like you would have to do even with the NVIDIA control panel. The yeah, horror. but I don't do it for the NVIDIA control panel either. It's just like... Uh. Get good scrub. Hey, it compiles, it has that going for it. Really the only thing I can see here, I'm just used to using the uh, NVIDIA control panel. We were talking about that earlier. It was like being GDDR6 on this card, being able to overclock your video memory by gigahertz like, what mm -hmm. however this supports fan curves and that's a thing for some people oh no man i i think if you can hear the fans and unless they're at like a hundred maybe you can hear them but most of the time you can't hear them unless you're pedro who likes to put his computer next to his head and be like i can hear things like it's not next to my head anymore. Anymore, okay. ladies. Yeah, no, there's, 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 there's a paper cup that you, you have attached to it just so you can stick your ear against that. Yeah. He puts it on the desk. It's like, ah, I can still hear it. The coil of wine is driving me crazy. Some Beethoven type shit. Um, <laughs> hey, let's reinvent the wheel. Yeah, so oh, yes. um, there, so the, the, this this is this is a bit of an interesting tale that we weave. So on the line, bug tracker, uh, someone, uh, this is... Um, Shit, I didn't I didn't catch the guy's name. Uh and he says, uh, why are you still not using Vulcan for Wine D3D, D3D9, D3D10, etc. etc. Why are you still using OpenGL? And uh one of the wine maintainers is like, you know what? Yeah, uh that that is a good question. And the fact of the matter is we're working on our own implementation. Um uh, switching all the Wine D3D stuff over to a Vulcan or de decoupling it from OpenGL so they can start working on an uh Vulcan backend. And then the inevitable question comes up, well, DXVK exists. Why? Why? Why you no use? Um, hmm. And we 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 get this glib little response. We tried working with DXVK. That didn't work out. Which everyone went what? Um, <laughs> and so and so later on, you know, because people are just scrambling for internet uh, internet <laughs> drama. Um, uh, eventually, this guy comes out on the mind mailing list. Is like, yo, listen. 
And I, 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 I get what you're, I get what you're saying. Then, on like within like the first paragraph, <laughs> I'm like, someone, someone thought this was a good idea to tell Michael Larabel about this. So I gotta go, <laughs> I gotta go put a bullet in this before it gets any worse. So the, 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 the short, ver- the short version is, uh, the Wine Project tried to get in touch with um, the DXVK guys twice. Uh, one of which trying to invite them to wine conf. They never got a reply, and so they said, "Okay, these guys don't want to play ball. We're gonna, you know, we're good, just gonna do our own thing." And technical, technical working together, project interproject cooperation aside, honestly, I think it's probably better to keep them decoupled, anyways, because DXVK has been moving really, really fast, a lot faster than Wine has, and because they're only they're only using like a very, very narrow segment of what Wine does. Uh, mm-hmm. it, it makes it makes sense that this should be able to advance faster in order to keep pace with new games, um, so that you can you can isolate specific problems to DXVK. You don't have to roll back full wine versions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, it, it 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 makes sense given given the environment. Um, but of course, drama's gonna drama. <laughs> well, drama's a good thing. I mean, you know, there was initially like different coding with C plus plus and all that. That was like the yeah. initial theory, and dude walked out. Just like, yeah, we just couldn't get a hold of the guy. And yeah, DXVK is its own thing, you know. Uh, dude was working on it, and we didn't know for a long time. No one did. And it's like, this thing's making just ludicrous progressions. Like, how can it go at this clip? And that's because Valve showed up, represented by the Shilling Penguin, and they started throwing yep. money at the developer, which is good. So shilly. Get paid for your work. And yeah, I instantly liked the dude. In the one project he's like love really okay <laughs> who did that boo <laughs> but it's not a surprise you know they just couldn't get get a hold to the guy and i i get it you know when you try to reach out to somebody he's like yo i sent him an email then i invited him to like wine con no that's not called wine con but you know what i'm saying and it's like just didn't hear anything back to which i immediately thought well you know this guy doesn't work for well at Valve, but works for Valve or being financed by Valve. And you got to think like part of any orientation to work with Valve, even as like a contractor, they sit you down and they teach you like how not to communicate with anyone in any fucking meaningful <laughs> way. You know, it's like company policy that you need to observe. Yeah. And, and, and here's the other thing too, is that like DXVK isn't going away and I sincerely doubt that the wine project is going to go out of their way to fuck with how DXVK works within wine because that would just cause even more internet drama and no one fucking wants that except for all the freaking drama queens. Um, <laughs> but, but the thing here is, uh, it's like, no, wine is not going to deliberately go out of their way. Absolutely not to, uh, harm DXVK in any way. And if we're looking at it, you know historically well, i don't think anybody uh, ever even mentioned that they were just like how, how come you guys aren't you know just yeah each other it's off? like this is a thing that already exists that does what you guys are saying you're going to do why aren't you using it but this isn't even the first time that wine has decided to go their own way when implementing something uh remember csmt before that was in wine proper that was in staging for the longest time and it had even had its own branch with the csmt patches that the original developer had created for them and wine said we're not going to use your patches we're going to implement it the right way and it took them much longer obviously but they got it implemented and it works pretty well now so and you you, you raise a good point it comes up in linux kernel mailing, mailing lists all the time if you have coding standards in your project things should stick to them yeah like <laughs> code code consistency in projects is important especially when it's something is widely contributed to as wine and uh, just, just yep, to put a quick bow on it, again, they were willing to work with that, and there, there's nothing here to report other than they just couldn't get in contact with them. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> but yeah. so, uh, updates. Speaking of yeah. DXVK. Sp- speaking of DXVK, this came out uh, today. Uh, DXVK version not nine six. Uh, they've gone through a bit of an effort to uh, reduce the total number of um, Vulcan API calls that DXVK does in the in the, in an attempt to. Um, improve performance um and it's it's it seems like that's the case uh, here's the real story they, they, here's no dude just wanted <laughs> to play that resident evil 2 demo oh so. dude but yeah people and I, I saw that i'm like oh yeah no Re- resident evil 2 the remake is out like yes was out yesterday so the, the friday and yeah this, this guy's like man i want to play some resident evil 
Um, so that's the thing. Um, they've also redone the shader cache format. Um, now all the, uh, if you're, if you, um, if you roll forward your DXVK, it'll invalidate your, it'll convert your existing shader cache to the V3 version. And if you roll back from there, it'll just completely wipe out your shader cache. Um, and again, again, this is, this is another one of these cleanups to improve, uh, performance and, the the project keeps chugging on. Um, appa- apparently, if you wanted if you wanted uh, Mass Effect Andromeda to run, you apparently need to tell it that you're using an NVIDIA GPU. Uh, by default, DXVK advertises the G- the virtual GPU as an AMD one, and that was causing some problems. Yeah, I kind of like there's always that edge that. case. Yeah, I mean, trimming it up, making it look good, that's great. One thing they point out, they're like, "Yo, and this is going to help speed up things like uh, the new Tomb Raider games." Like, you hear that? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's mm-hmm. fired. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, trimming down stuff and getting DXVK running games even better, that's always welcome. And it's uh apparently they introduced uh a regression with the previous version and they've fixed that now. So that's good. <laughs> and like really not to gloss over that, this is something we brought up before. Uh you know, like a good person, I'm sitting here going I'm waiting on Feral to get the new Tomb Raider game out so I can give them money and they get credit for it. Yes. Which a lot of people are like, well, does it run good enough now? They're like, yeah, screw it. I just want to play the game. You know, there's no principle behind yeah. it. A lot of people are just, I want to play this game. I use Linux. Oh, I can play it for Proton. Okay, here's money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and I mean, to be, to be fair, that's exactly what Proton's supposed to do. It's supposed to drop the barrier yeah. for entry for playing games on Linux. The people can just get it. That, that, that That's why Ven is so anti-Proton tricks. The entire point is you click play and then you play the game. And so people just like to fiddle. <laughs> yeah. Some people like to weep openly. Oh, yes. Unless you're I'm staring directly at them. So, uh, this is Guardian Angel, and it comes from the Splato Bros uh, itch.io page. And, um, it, yeah, it's a game where it's basically Slenderman. It's Slenderman without the titular man. Uh, you play the part of an airplane. No, you play the no. part of a floating <laughs> flashlight. <laughs> Basically, uh, instead of finding notes on the walls of buildings, you have to flip switches and then get to the airplane. <laughs> There's something to be said about fuck it. I'm just going to be a floating yeah. light. <laughs> yeah. And uh, instead of, you know, Slenderman chasing you around, it's weeping angels, quote unquote. <laughs> Russell T. Davis going to sue a bitch. <laughs> right. yeah, well, if they're giving it away for free or... Uh, pay what you want. It's probably fine. I think. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm just going to say, uh, in in before the final boss is the Statue of Liberty. I'm just calling it here. <laughs> oh, they went there. <laughs> I don't know. Price to say, man. Uh, use EF Sprint Shift mm-hmm. Strobe Focus. They got a Linux version. It's two fifty. It's slender. Off, it's so. literally slender. So. Ah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> There's your plug, man. Um. I mean, yeah, it, 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 it's the thing. It's the closest thing to a Doctor Who game we will ever get on it Linux. Game. And I think that's actually a good thing because all the other Doctor Who games are crap. Anyways. No. Coming up next, uh, we are going to explore a very child-friendly Lovecraftian horror story and explain to you why it is, in fact, a Lovecraftian horror story. Well, I definitely was going to start off this chair position singing Shut Your Fucking Face, Uncle Fucker, but we don't have time for that. There it is. The- <laughs> yeah. Um, and and the graphics are all the right size, too. Uh, this is the chair position. This is where you take a game, we tell you how it runs, if it, if it launches for one, how it runs, how the graphics show up, and how it controls. And then we tell we break it down. We maybe tell you how we feel about this game, how it touches us in that special place, just like many of our uncles actually did. Uh, this week, we're taking a look at a story about my uncle from Gone North Games done on Unreal Engine 3, not 4, 3. Um, three. Oh, that's why it runs decently. Right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> What is it? A story about my uncle is a first-person platforming adventure about a boy who searches for his lost uncle and ends up in a world he couldn't imagine existed. Take help of your uncle's mysterious inventions. <laughs> you jump incredibly hot, high and far through beautiful scenery. Uncover clues to your uncle's whereabouts and meet fantastic creatures that will help you along your journey. Um, 
yeah. So we rate everything on a scale from one to four chairs. One chair means that it's crap. Four chairs means that's amazing. So let's let's get let's get into this. Ben, how did a story about my uncle run on the Ubuntu's? Hey, on the Ubuntu's, Whee! the LTS's, it <laughs> runs. Not a problem. I mean, uh, you know, it's Unreal Engine three. I thought it was UE four. I was going to give them all props. That whoa, a UE four. No, it's UE three. <laughs> I know. It's I. I've already been deflated. Wah, wah. Uh, however, how it. Runs at 60. Hope you like 60. That's what's going to run at 60 on the 980 and the mm. 2060. 60, because 60. Ha. Huh. <laughs> and that's not just the RTX talking, like I said, man. Uh, graphics looks all right. It's serviceable. I mean, th they were giving this game away a couple of, like a, a couple of weeks ago, right? Mm hmm So, yeah, price to sell. Uh, control. It's first person. You can use a controller. Jordan's like, Right in the show notes, man. He was like, yo, try to use it with a controller. He didn't say that directly. It was just reading. So I grabbed the x Gloom controller and it's like, oh, nope, fuck this. Because uh -uh, I immediately plummeted to my death with the touch of a single <laughs> button. But I did use uh, your standard WASD, uh, left click, click, right click. It works. Clean bill of health, man. You can safely purchase this knowing that it will not say disparaging remarks about your uncle. <laughs> Although it probably should. Yeah, on uh, Fedora 2864 bit with the uh, i7 6700A GTX 1080 Ti, it definitely does launch. And regardless of you're playing it at 1080p, UHD, whatever, VSync off, VSync on, it is locked at 60 frames a second. So you better fucking like 60 FPS. Um, graphics wise, it's not terrible looking. I, I, My first impression was this kind of reminds me of like a UE4 tech demo almost, except it's Unreal Engine 3, <laughs> which is either a compliment or an insult. I'm not quite sure just yet. Um, <laughs> but the, the, you could, I'll let, I'll let you make up your own mind. Uh, control wise, yeah, WASD works. Um, I gotta say though, the whole right click to long jump can fuck right off though every Especially time I when went you to go jump. off a cliff right you, you just yeah. run to your death every time <laughs> yeah it, no because every other game in history has trained me that space is jump except in this game where it's not um yes uh ven, ven brought it up uh i did try i i tried for like three seconds to play it with with the with the dual shock this guy yeah um it works technically <laughs> but it's also like playing a first person shooter uh with platforming elements with a Xbox with a Xbox and PlayStation 4 controller, you're not gonna have a good time, especially because you can't see your fucking feet. And I'll I'll talk more about that in the fun segment. But functional functionality wise, I gotta give it four chairs. Everything works. Yeah, uh, it. There was one instance on my end that the game froze, but it was just like the end game thing. I could still hit escape and get to the menu, so I just quit to the main menu and reloaded the game, and it didn't do anything like that ever again. So. Yeah, just a hiccup. Uh, the performance, yeah, it's just locked at 60. Uh, the This part that you're looking at, if you're watching the video version, um, the chasms. Yeah, the ground for me in certain areas was pitch black, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't supposed to be. It, but... It uh, oh, yeah, yes, it was. Maybe they they it made was. it a point. I mean, my first thought when I saw that was like, oh, that's what, because they actually, if you pay attention, they're like, oh, it's so dark, you can't even see things. Like, you didn't apply textures and called it a thing. Yeah. It's not a bug, it's so, a feature, yeah. Uh, but kudos to the game for actually making uh, the level still be, you know, you could still identify exactly where you were supposed to go, despite having, you know, that pitch black thing. Uh, so... That not gonna ding at any chairs for that. The re uh, the controls, everything is rebindable. There's a mouse sensitivity slider that actually works. UE3. Uh, if I had to point out an issue, is that changing that mouse sensitivity doesn't do shit for actually adjusting the speed of the mouse in the menu. So yeah, four chairs here. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. No technical issues. What about fun issues, Ben? How, how, how's your uncle doing? Your non-existent yeah. uncle. Check it out. If you watch, watch the video version, one of the things that you're greeted with pretty soon after like stealing stuff from your uncle and traveling to this weird moon world is this talking child salamander girl that is genuinely the embodiment of all things. <laughs> nope. Splat. Missed it. Um, <laughs> speed. This game's about speed. Or it's supposed to be about speed, but it kind of lacks it. Like the only... 
uh, thing that reminds me of speed is the speed lines that are drawn on the screen sometimes when you're plummeting to your fucking death. Mm -hmm. uh, we kind of talked about this in the pre pre super shows and like how many times I got lost and like Pedro's at a spot right now where you're <laughs> just in this void of nope and you're wondering like where the hell am I supposed to go? It kind of has uh, like indicators on the ground that don't necessarily give you the correct direction all the time. I got about an hour and a half into this nonsense. And for me, what you're watching Pedro do is kind of the strategy. I think we all ended up having. To yeah. hundred percent. This is my experience. Adopt. too. I mean, yep. this, this is live, die, repeat at cast into stone. You know, can you imagine if this game had permadeath? Like, oh my God. <laughs> I would have I, given uh, up a lot earlier. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I wouldn't have even finished that first fucking level. It'd be like, oh, Nope, we're oh. done here. <laughs> so anyway, I, I made it as far as the Sky Village and I kind of tapped out and on the second windmill ride. I, I uh, couldn't have any more of it. You know, at that point, I had the lizard girl on my back. No real reason to overcome any of the moon physics required not to slam into fucking rocks because that's a mechanic in the game where you're supposed to avoid them. But that's part of the fun, right? Uh, Pedro's like going to do it. And I think you got to do it. Wee. is. <laughs> we got to compare this to Valley, a game we played a year ago. And so this Valley had some funky parts in it too with annoying physics, but sweet holy hell, that Valley hits you like from the first frame with a story that made you want to power through the bullshit parts because you kind of needed some closure. This, like I got a suit and I went to where my uncle threw his trash and I'm trying to find my, I don't fucking care. <sighs> but where I tapped out, this, you know... This just had me hauling around the salamander girl, you know, basically the third course at a Japanese restaurant. And she's talking <laughs> to my ears randomly. I'm like, shut up. I don't care. Why are you on me? Go away. Kind of what it boils down to is, is really simple for me. The main mechanic is swinging off shit and to shit. And I really don't like the way it's handled. No pun intended. It doesn't feel right. It ignores angular momentum. And I'm not mm -hmm. looking, you know, I'm just like, oh, this game lacks realism as I talk to the sentient, you know, food on my back. So, I mean, it really should feel like we, when you're flying through cavernous caves and all this fun, it doesn't, it feels like a damn chore. It's, uh, this, this could be considered like a rage platformer, maybe, but... Un yeah. Unintentional, but yes. Yeah, <laughs> unintentional. And also, you, you can't see your feet, no feet. So, no feet, one chair. Yeah, I mean, har harping, harping on those those salamander kids. I mean, they got a bit of an Innsmouth look. I'm j I'm just saying. Also, these people are living in Fred the the, the titular uncle's waste, and mm -hmm. I think this doesn't get the necessary attention it should because that's kind of fucked up. Because they also kind of worship him as a god who can go into like the dark place that they can't. I mean, all 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 I'm all I'm saying is that there there's like a there's a you're one show off short of making this a Lovecraftian horror thing. You got teleporters, you got traveling to other worlds, fish people. I'm, I'm it's, it's Lovecraft. You know, man, if they just gave me like a hint that shit's going to take a sideways turn or it had the possibility of getting dark, I probably would have powered through. Right, a bit more. like yeah, mm -hmm. I get, and and again, like the second you go in the basement, like my brain's immediately like, okay, where do I get the handgun? I want this little child to run around with like a six shooter or something. <laughs> Um, but, but yeah, um, here's the thing. The platforming in this game is fucking jank. Momentum mm -hmm. is super fucked up and angular momentum is an entirely different problem. You, you run into this thing as you're often going to see Pedro. Pa I have sort of the opposite problem that Pedro did where I would put a little too much juice in my, in my jumps and then just ricochet off something that I was trying to land on. <laughs> and that, that in itself is just special kind of infuriating. The the grapple mechanic, the thing that you're switching, you're swinging around with, is also super inconsistent because you can be like right next to something, and it doesn't show up as like grapp grappleable. But then if you're like an inch closer, there it is, and it's it seems very inconsistent because you can grapple some like that's a pretty far distance. But there are other things that are like no, it's right in front of you, but you can't grapple well, it unless you're in this exact portion of the. You level. definitely have some things that are highlighted. You're like, oh, I can grapple, but. So much other shit, like just the random ground is grappable as you find out as you're flailing mm -hmm. to your death, desperately looking mm -hmm. to stick it, to something. It it absolutely is. And like the, the slingshot mechanic is such that you'll often find yourself just knocking into things on your way there. 
uh, things that you're supposed to swing off of, and it gets really annoying. And because like this is a core gameplay mechanic, this is this is problematic to say the least. And I mean, like I can't I get that this is a baby game for babies. Like the the storytelling is very much like oh this is this is someone telling their kid a story, so we're, we're trying to make it relatable to Das Kinder, but. <laughs> Like li- li- uh, the to bring up the inevitable comparison to Valley, Valley like th- this game is very very linear, but it presents an open world that you for the most part cannot interact with. When Valley does this, um, the linear segments that you're supposed to go fast and like are supposed to follow a track are very very markedly linear, and you don't feel bad about it because you, this is the intended thing. You got to go make the jumps. You got to build up the speed, and this this game does not have that. Um, yeah, the because like yeah, the the level design is fairly straightforward. It's just, it also does like a really rubbish, it does a really rubbish job of like it, conveying where you need to go and what you need to do sometimes. Mm-hmm. And it's all it's it's a lot of trial and error and a lot of just well, I I gotta do it at this time or I gotta do it at this time. And there are multiple moving parts in the level, so you got to make sure that they all line up. And it's just annoying. It's not fun after like two like one and a half hours of this. I I I I gave up. I, I just was not having fun and I didn't want to do it anymore. I'm going to give it one share. Yeah, a game like this will inevitably see the Valley comparison. Fed's already mentioned it. Churn's already Woo! mentioned it. Look, look at the T-Rex go. Maybe that's not a bad thing because Valley was pretty damn good. Now, I hear some people say it's like, oh, but Valley came out in 2016 and this one came out originally in 2014. Yeah, the thing is, Valley came out for Linux in October. 2016, while this one uh, only came out on Linux in uh, May 2017. So right off the bat, it's already starting this particular comparison at a disadvantage. Now, Valley made it all about the movement. Speed and momentum were basically the things that you needed to get through the platforming bits. And it did that really well. It focused on that and it worked. In uh, a story about my uncle, the grappling thing breaks pretty much any momentum that you had up to that point and often breaks your perception of speed. Ven already mentioned you get the little blurry lines uh, around the, uh, the screen if you're supposedly going fast, not that you feel like you're going fast, but that's it. And if once you get the rocket boots in the uh, little sky village after this area uh, that's in the video right now, uh, you get the rocket boots, and the only thing that they do is they make the screen all blurry. And the jump that you're currently doing holds on for a little while, and that's about it. it they're rocket boots, for fuck's sake. They're, they're supposed to be awesome, and you made them boring! <laughs> Uh, the story. I would very much like to see where this story goes, but the platformy bits and the really crappy um, momentum and sense of movement, it's just terrible. It's like, no, look at that. Like, look, I, I failed that jump too. Even the narrator, as he's telling, he's like, oh yeah, it felt awesome to fly through the air. He's completely meh about the whole thing, so why should I care? I'll give it two chairs because. Eh. <laughs> so uh, I, I just I just want to bring up one thing before we close out. I, I took a I took a peruse through the achievements just because I was curious what this thing achieves you based on them, and there 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 is and it's basically complete the levels under a certain number of grapples. So someone hmm. intended for this to be like a speed run optimized path thing, and I do not see how this would happen at all. Mind you, people speed run Pepsi Man, so what the fuck do I know? This is true. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and any final thoughts before we kick on over to Hate Mill? Uh, you know, um, it. I, I just don't like the physics. It's not fun. I'm not, Get I'm not having a good instead. time. I'm just going fucking really, fucking really, fucking really, and we're done. Yeah, no. Valley was the best example here. Just get that game. <laughs> or if, if you want a longer experience with like some stealth mechanics and some, you know, gameplay, try Shadwin. Might be your jam. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um coming up next, uh we 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 got we get some hate mail from a lounge singer who hasn't sent us some hate mail in a while. And also we learn who your daddy is. Spoiler alert, I'm your mom. 
Well, someone uh, did provide us with some hate mail, and uh, we'll get to that in a moment. But apparently I can't do my usual spiel, so LinuxGameCast.com, contact button, pick uh, LGCW or LGC Weekly, whatever it says on the little box thingy, uh, and you fill out the form. Pretty easy. Let us know what you think. You can also leave us a comment on Patreon if you're a Patreon. Uh, there's an easy way to amend that if you'd like to. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, uh, YouTube comments, maybe? That's always a possibility. So... Let's get into the aforementioned comment bit of hate mail what we got. Jackie uh, saying, Comrades, enough douchebagging and hashtag gluten-free speech. Let's make uh, hate mail great again. M-H-M-G-A copyright. Uh, <laughs> I take pride in pushing the good old values and traditions which once made this show great to new frontiers even without commas knowing y'all have to read this mess out loud. Therefore, I manifest. 1.0.0, uh, uh, comma 5. If Pedro one more time choosy box on tape, the hate mail will become hourly flooding bigly as legion. Wow, that made me... Okay. That's a, one that's point a <laughs> Show title. 1.0.1. If the old man, trademark, cancels the hate mails or ignoring or even not reading out loud, it will be my fault, apparently. 1.0. Point final. Pedro! <laughs> Touches and kisses. I'll touch you, Jackie. <laughs> hey, I just hope this person does not write anything relating to software because I can imagine that. Type uh, of uh, uh, I was going to say, like, this guy would give the Zodiac Killer a run for his money in terms of cryptic <laughs> messages, so. <laughs> I mean. Apparently, I can't say the choosy box anymore. Oh, Listen, shit. Appa I did. Listen, appa man. Appa apparently, 1.0 is just Pedro. So. This, this is only like, <laughs> like one step away from like cut out magazine letters taped to a piece of paper. I mean, you gotta know, <laughs> like it for what it is, right? right. Yeah. Yes. In, in, like a, in like a thousand year space, archaeologists will come across this email and it'll be like the fucking Voyage manuscript to them. They're just not going to know what it means. You know, they finally figured out what that was. Yeah, they they did. And it took them, it took them a good long while. A couple too. hundred fucking years. Yeah, that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah. What do we got? Up up, up, upgrades. Uh, he said, "This is from a dad, not an uncle." There was a story about him earlier. Shut your face. <laughs> yeah. Um, so he says, "Catching up on LGC and the guy asking you to review games on low end hardware was a dad. He wants you to review dad systems. I get it, but the show me the new. I hate. I have the old." <laughs> <laughs> you put it an extra the I get it, but show yeah, but me the show new, me I, the have new the I have the old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. You you're defeating my brain. I was like, where's that out? <laughs> uh, listen, my brain my brain is still chewing on the previous hate mail. He cut me some slack. <laughs> so I'm, still, I'm still doing that optical character recognition. Um yeah. budget well, stuff. I mean, we listen, I I've done my part. I bought the budget uh RTX card. <laughs> I and I, 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 I do try to run stuff on my Vega 11 every once in well, a while. And, and these two have last-gen hardware. I mean, we, <laughs> yeah, we're practically old. Yeah, we have the 10 series cards, and I have a bunch of Intel laptops lying about, mm -hmm. and I have a uh, Vega 11 Steam box that I often play stuff on. I didn't play a story about my uncle because the idea of playing that game with a controller made my brain hurt. Listen, but I'll, 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 even... Also, you're totally going to like whip that controller at the television and those are... <laughs> even Jor Jordan only has four physical cores. So keep mm -hmm. that in mind. I know. It's, 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 it's terrible. That, moving at that piss slow 4 gigahertz, 4.2 gigahertz. I don't know. I mean, listen, I feel it. I got friends that are parents and shit and I understand that you know, budgets can be limited to what you're allowed, you know, because when it's like, oh, uh, let's see, should little Timmy starve or are we getting that 2080, baby? And, you know, then you're thinking, well, you know, I do have a policy on little Timmy. I can get two 2080. Uh, I, I get it. Uh, we kind of just play on what we got. <laughs> yep. I'm just laughing because uh, even Maddie in uh, in Discord is like, even I don't English this badly. <laughs> English you, English you, desu, oh, desu, 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 your, desu. your American English is so big. <laughs> Pedro's English so, uh, so tiny. My tiny. English not not very good. No, it's, it's 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 the tiniest English. It's like it's like the baby hands of language. <laughs> the baby hands of language. 
Why that, you that's show to, title. Why do you gotta hide those show titles <laughs> right at the end? We were almost out of here, man. Because you know, one hundred percent on that bombshell. Let's cue the music. You can always find us uh, at nine thirty Eastern Standard Moon Time. Unless you're a patron, unless it's, you're crazy and insane enough to back this nonsense, then hop in the Discord. Uh, we go live at eight thirty in the creep shows and so come in participate in that nonsense you want to get a hold of me i'm at vin stone on twitter uh i'm i think at old man vin on mastodon mass.linuxgamecast.com i'm jordan swung i am the putting these into the the senses too many of those you can find me doing that on the twitter at the burning fool plus jordan swung on google plus or on mass.linuxgamecast.com you can find me at, at projo where people keep messaging me and i don't check them until like a week later fuck pretty much <laughs> i am Pedro Matos. you can find me at unaccounted for on twitter chances are if you message me there i'll get right back to you uh on mastodon dad dad's gonna be a bit of a crap shoot because i forget that that exists despite having a bookmark for it but uh, that's at unaccounted for as well with the actual number four rather than spelling it out and i've been advised by strider to stop saying that my english is not good have you oh. been listening, Strider? Seriously? It's, yeah, it, it, it's, it's not well, Pedro. It's not well. Okay. <laughs> Do you know what? We're just going to roll some fucking credits. You broke fan there, Jordan. You broke fan. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, good times. It's not well. <laughs> this is your... <laughs> they <laughs> Arthur and Mr. Fox, the empty atomic ass, Mike G, Barbara, and drummer seven, Aldis, our executive producers making this happen. And the gang, gang, oh. super awesome. And th this uh, this lot of fine, upstanding peoples, cannibals, man. <laughs> no, they're only cannibals if they go in the fuck wall, right? No, if you get them wet after midnight. <laughs> mm, I thought I, I, I thought that I thought that was gremlins. No, I mean sexually. <laughs> I thought that was gremlins. <laughs> you think it the credits gremlins. are not small, Foxy? It's just the screen that's bigger. <laughs> yeah, the credits are regular size. <laughs> I, 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 again, we come back to the: is it is Jill just tiny or is that laptop huge? It's both. Yes, <laughs> we're learning. <laughs> You have no idea how big the credits are going to be next week. <laughs> just so the You'll credits be able to read them big. The no, we're, we're just going to do UHD credits and they're like fucking 11 point font so you can't see it. <laughs> oh no, man. I'll just have it come by one letter at a time. <laughs> Acro oh, across the credits. I'm just bit. saying we actually make some popcorn and sit down and eat it while it, the 35 mm -hmm. minutes I, it's going to I, take. I, I mean, yeah, what, like the, the, the two minutes, 20 seconds it takes to pop popcorn on my microwave. <laughs> We'll make it a thing. Dynify everyone. We'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs> Five dudes.